Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube hop with hashtag Team Tiny. Today it's hashtag Team Tiny Sweet. You can click the link hashtag Team Tiny Sweet in my description box and in the title and that will hop you along with the other creators in our group. We do have some new ones. I hope that you will follow along with them and subscribe to their channels if you haven't already done so. Um, I am starting with some products from the Greetery and Honey Bee Stamps. Everything will be listed in the description box below. This is a uh, die from the newest release. It's called Botanic Cut Florals, and I, or I'm sorry, Botanic Cut Roses. And I knew when I saw this that I wanted to use it with the Honey Bee Stamp. I call it a whiskey barrel, a planter, whatever you want to call it, a pot. I make it into a barrel. And I started by using worn lipstick. Then I came in with some abandoned coral. And next I came in with some ripe persimmon. And I am going to build this flower and forget a piece. So you will see as I start working on the smaller flower that I do have, um, it, it just doesn't look right. And I realize that there's a whole nother piece that I left over on the side that I didn't put on. I had originally created this card and shared it in my Facebook group for the greetery. It's called Betsy's Bunch. I was super excited about the card when I finished the first one and I wanted to share it. And then as I was looking at it, I thought, hmm, you know, I probably would have done this, this, and this a little bit differently. And so I did make a few changes. It's very similar, but I did make a few changes. I will show you both cards at at the very end and you can determine which one you like better. Uh, one is going to be a birthday card so initially I showed you a paper tray ink uh, stamp set as one of the products that I was using for the sentiment and I don't use that. I end up using a sentiment from the greetery sentiment sweet birthday and I turn this into a birthday card. The other one is a bridal shower card um, that my friend needed some cards and bridal shower was one of them and I thought this was really pretty. So here's where I'm putting that little swirly piece on but there's actually another piece that needs to be tucked inside and it's an easy fix. I'll just pull it off and uh, attach it to the correct piece and then insert that one. When I did the smaller flower, it's the only one that I actually use scattered straw on between the bigger roses. And so I used scattered straw and ripe persimmon and then I came in with a little abandoned coral to give that color variation. And I'm using the abandoned coral and the ripe persimmon and then I'll come in with a little bit of that worn lipstick, not a whole lot, giving it more of a uh, more of a coral tone than the first big flower. So I will build that flower and then I will come in with the flower buds and on the flower buds I did the same things. Uh, there's one that has a little scattered straw and ripe persimmon. There's uh, a couple that are abandoned coral and worn lipstick. I kind of mixed up the colors again to create more interest. When I do ink those leaves, I'm going to ink them in peeled paint. That's what I'll start with. The veins I will use forest moss and then I'll come in with some peacock feathers to blend out a little bit and give a little bit of that bluish tone and tie everything together. Um, so I did a card class, my first card class. I was super excited about it. I did it at the church and it went super well and I was excited about that. In fact, they did ask if I would do another one so I'll probably do another one in the spring and that was a lot of fun. Um, at the end of it, one of the kids, so I, the class was uh, filled with people from first grade all the way up to seniors 
and one of the kids came up to me and said, two of your markers don't have caps on them. And I'm like, oh no, this can't be. And so we looked furiously for the caps, and I have the Copic marker suitcase. And when they pulled, when somebody pulled the markers out, they pulled so hard and were moving them in such a way that the caps came off inside the box and I have almost the entire collection so I had to take every single marker out to get to those caps to put them back on my markers and then I had to reorganize 300 and whatever uh, Copic markers and fortunately the kids were really good about helping they enjoyed uh, putting everything back and putting them in order and sorting and stuff like that. So they were a big help, but oh my goodness, can you believe all of those coming, having to take all of those out. It took us about 45 minutes to reorganize, but it got done and the class was a success. So those florals are made that you can bend up the leaves to give them a little bit of dimension and they already have dimension from obviously the layering. So it's you know not too much that it can't fit into a card but it's enough that it really gives uh, a beautiful look to the card. Now you see that leaf in the upper left hand corner. The the first one that I did, the first time that I cut these out, I didn't cut out the middle section. I was trying to keep all of my pieces together so that I didn't have a bunch of tiny pieces uh, for this die set. I realized that that wasn't something that I can do and so I did have to snip a few of them apart so that I didn't have holes in my leaves because that would look terrible. Um, these are those little veins that I'm doing in forest moss and again I did the peeled paint and I will list everything again in the description box below because there were you know several different uh, distress inks. I tried to name them all but and I think that I did but just so that you can see I will put it in the description box below and I have a question for you. I have noticed that some people put music on during their ink blending or coloring or painting or whatever and I love to chit chat. That's me. I can talk forever and I was wondering do you prefer for me not to be chit chatting and would you prefer for me to use uh, music instead? Let me know in the description box below. This is also new from this release from the Greetery, this January release. It is called Window Pane Plaid and I inked that up with peeled paint and then I came in with some um, peacock feathers. I did use Nina 80 pound cardstock for that. This is some older, very thin craft cardstock, and I cut that bushel and a peck uh, whiskey barrel out with that, and then I thought it I would double it up just to give it a little more um, bulk. And I am going to come in with some tea dye it's going to be a little bit wet. That's a very juicy pad and so I dried it a little before I brought the vintage photo in and then I'll come in with some um, walnut stain and then I'll use antique linen, or not antique linen, but um, what is it? Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's the antique um, ink and then I'll use vintage photo sorry vintage photo and walnut stain and I will ink those up and then I'm going to come in with some brads from my stash and fill in those holes and I will cut back some of excuse me some of the fasteners with my wire snips I did use the Tim Holtz 3D texture fade lumber embossing folder. I love to use it on this particular piece to give it that texture. That's one of my favorite embossing folders. 
that and the if you saw my video where I did the masculine card that wood plank one those are two of my favorite embossing folders I just love the texture and the realistic look that those give okay so I'm going to glue that down and then I'm going to uh, get another pan another panel of the Nina 80 pound cardstock and I'm going to uh, ink blend that with peeled paint and then I will cut that down that's a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece I'm gonna cut that down in eighth of an inch then that uh, craft piece is going to be four by five and a quarter and then the p other panel is cut down a quarter inch less that's the sentiment sweet strip that I used uh, the stamp and the strip and I did stamp that in oxide ink in worn lipstick and I will show you uh, both cards together and individually and that will be my video today uh, please hop along if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please hit subscribe Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of my new subscribers, and I hope you enjoyed this video sharing these beautiful roses. Have a good day. Bye-bye.